Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 15, and this is war number 7, and we're going up against an alliance called Sandman 2. Now, I've already scouted my path out, and you're going to notice something a little different about my team. There's no Gladiator Hulk, and there's an Omega Red. He is my 6 star. I took him to rank 2, Unawakened. And if you watch some of my other videos, you'll know that he is still a beast. Now, why didn't I bring my Gladiator Hulk? Since he is a king for that path one. Well, that will become readily apparent. As you can see, there's no defender on that first node. And there's no defender on that second node. So, there was no reason for me to bring Gladiator Hulk for that path. So I wanted to try out my Omega Red on that junction boss, but... My alliance mate got him before I could. All good. I didn't tell them anything about what I wanted to do. Uh, but Psychic Thorns, one of my alliance mates already takes that path. And so it just makes more sense for him to take that boss as well, since he already brings a champion or two to handle Psychic Thorns. But just this time, I could have taken the Psychic Thorns as well with Omega Red. All right, so on to section two. And now we're going to face this Aegon. So, of course, I bring in my Starkey. First fight for me of the war. Got to start it off right, you know? Uh, so there's nothing really special about fighting Aegon. Now, what I didn't do, which I should have done is build up my poise charges, but it's really difficult sometimes for me to see an opening and not run in there and grab it, you know? So when he fired off his heavy, I was like, ooh, and it's almost like my fingers just went of their own accord, and I just go right in, all right? So here we go, special two, and he's down. Didn't have to take the recoil damage because I finished him off with the special. Uh, before the recoil damage could hit. So, Aegon, not a big problem there. All right, so next up, we have got Morningstar. Now, I liked seeing Morningstar, and she's awakened. So, I love this because I have Omega Red. And anytime Omega Red is bleeding, he activates the death field. Well... Morningstar will make you bleed right there on your face. I wonder if you guys know the reference to that. Uh, but anyway, a great option for uh, Omega Red. I love it. Uh, you see his health because I have willpower. So every time I'm bleeding, not only am I not taking any damage, but my willpower is kicking in because of the bleed debuff. And every time she puts a bleed debuff on me, same thing. So I'm constantly healing, constantly having the death field active. All right. Now, I wanted to take this domino as well with my Starkey. Um, I don't like Buffet, but she wasn't freed. And when I came back to check, she was down. So I'm like, oh, my goodness, what's going on? I finally bring in somebody I want to play around with. And they're just cleaning house. Uh, and at this point, we are doing quite well in the war all right so now i said i'm going to get some fighting in here so we're at the final section and we've got a few bosses left now there was a korg in the final section and i got omega red so i'm like okay perfect remember i scouted out all of this and so I had in my mind, I didn't communicate, so that's my fault, um, but I had in my mind the fights that I was going to be able to take. And Omega Red was going to be able to do the Psychic Thorns, uh, my Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. He was going to be able to do the uh, Domino if I needed to take that Domino. And my Omega Red was going to be able to take out that Korg that I saw down there and possibly you know, one other. I saw Mysterio. I don't really like fighting him a whole lot. Um, but as you can see, 
my alliance mate had already taken out that Korg. He was off to the right there and continued on and cleared the path all the way to the boss. And I said, all right, well, I can do it too, Punchinella, Punchinella. And I wanted to test out my uh, Omega Red because for the longest time, we were saying that Omega Red needed to be awakened. But in my own testing, what I'm seeing is that he only needs to be awakened if you aren't running suicides. If you're running suicides, he is still a beast. Look at this. Now, I do make a little mistake uh, a little bit later on, but just look at it. So now his death field is gone. And I can fire off my special two and get it back if I want to. All right, but I decided not to. And then I got clipped by that. Don't ask me why. I thought I was far enough back, but apparently I wasn't. So I fired off my special three because he has a heal element to it. So I was like, well, I'll fire the special three off and heal up a little bit. But Omega Red was just too powerful for this Quake. So down she went. So Omega Red, I have no regrets taking him up. Now, if you do not run suicides, then I don't recommend taking him up uh, as a six star or even as a five star. But if you are like me and you run suicides all the time, oh, he is a beast. All right. And if you haven't seen my videos on that, then take a look. Just do a search and you'll find them. Uh, now, I made a mistake here. I was so eager to go in with Omega Red that I forgot that this is a horrible matchup for my Omega Red. So I started out with some poor decisions. I can't evade that special one to save my life, it seems. All right. And you see there, I fired off the special one because I wanted to get some healing. But now remember that Warlock is a robot. Robots are horrible matchups for Omega Red. So what you're seeing right now is Omega Red at his worst, okay? This is not good for Omega Red. You can see I'm not bleeding, so I don't even have the death feel active. Because Warlock is a robot, the spores are not gonna stay on him. It takes a long time to get the spores on him. See, I got two up there, right? Now watch this. As soon as I dash back a little bit, okay, you got three, four, and now they're gone. Just that fast. That is why he is horrible for robots. So what I'm trying to do here is just basically push Warlock to his special two because I have a much easier time evading that one. And I was trying to build up to a special three so that I could maybe get some healing. But then I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if I would get, I believe he has a power drain on that special three. I wasn't sure about it. So I decided to play it safe and we got Warlock down. Even though it was a horrible matchup for uh, Omega Red, we still managed to get Warlock down. So we're on a roll and I'm not gonna stop. So next up, we've got Blade. Now, I know I can take out Blade. If my Omega Red was fully healed up and I'm not about to heal him up, I would have taken him in to fight Blade. But he's not. So I decided to go in here with my boy Starkey and I wanted to use one of these three minute boosts. I decided to use the combat regen because he's a little hurt. And so that'll give me a little bit of healing as long as I last. So the basic strategy is, you know, your similar strategy for any fight when you're fighting with Starkey is to build up his poise charges. Now, why did I stop blocking right there? Uh, that's because when I'm trying to build up the poise charges, one of the times it didn't register my swipe back. 
So instead of swiping back, he just stood there, not blocking. So it looks like I just let up the block, but that's what happened. All right, and you see there, I'm trying to shortcut his heavy. Um, he has a two-part heavy, but if he catches me in that corner, it's gonna be over with. All right, so I'm fighting with my back against the wall, got that out, and I'm like, okay, I got you. And ooh, he almost took me out there because the more power Blade has, the faster he shrugs off debuffs. So he almost caught me with an intercept to his special. It happens often, but because I had that debuff on him, it was able to take him out. So we were able to clear that entire left side without dying. At this point, we are ahead in the war. So I'll be back and we'll find out how we did. And we're back. And as you can see, we actually won this war. It was a pretty close war, very well fought. I was not sure who was going to win this one. I was streaming when this came in. I blanked it out just so that I didn't spoil it for those who like to watch the videos. And it was all I could do not to cheer because it was a really close war. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.